What's going on, people? We back again. That's right. Your boy, Sir Tokes. Your boy, Slang Hugh. We are darkness with a ginger hue. Yes, sir. So without further ado, peace, 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 peace my scores. That's right. Slang Hugh in the house. How you doing, Slang? Little I'm older. here drinking some tea. Trying to relax. A lot wiser. Hey, shout out Slang on his birthday. Hold on. That's better. That. There we go. Oh, yeah, you, there now you go. can hear me. I needed to turn it up. There you go. Mm, sorry. Yes, just celebrated his birthday, so shout him out. Appreciate it. Thank Much you. love. Another Always. year around the sun. That's right. Has That's right. Been. That's right. How do you how do you enjoy your uh uh birthday shenanigans? We'll say that. Oh, it was really good. Uh, it was really good, actually. Um, uh, what did I do? Uh, I didn't do much. This year was pretty low key, more low key than last year, I feel like. But uh, this year, pretty much just stayed in with the lady. And then we is had. This, is it, this the first one with the lady? Second. 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 One. Okay. Yeah. But um, yeah, we actually. Let me say this. so. My actual birthday, I just chilled because my birthday is uh, was on the twelfth and the thirteenth. Mm -hmm. Had a, a birthday party to go to, and then on the fourteenth had a wedding to go to. Oh wow! So, and then on the seventeenth, we ended up going out uh, to a party okay. with my cousin and his wife. Uh, yeah, but as far as the birthday celebrations go, it's I. It was good for me. I was satisfied. I wasn't disappointed. Of course, I, I always like to be out of country. Excuse me. True. Tea. True. But this True. year, you know, True. trying to save, trying to save for a couple of things, quote unquote. So I didn't, I took this year off back at it next year, hopefully, even if it's okay. Related. Yeah. So, well, yeah, it was good. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now, before we get into the, the show stuff, where is the ideal location you would like to celebrate your birthday? Ideal, your favorite place to ever be. Okay, that's a little whether bit you've of, been there or haven't been there. A little bit of uh, detail. I'd say if it's by myself, mm -hmm. uh, I would probably pick for my birthday. I'd probably pick Italy or somewhere in Africa. Okay. Okay. Uh, one of those okay. countries because I haven't been there. And and with someone. So sorry, I would say that would be by myself or with one other person. Oh, okay. Uh, that's the, the first. That's what I should have said. And yeah. like with my girl or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh the other way would be like with friends. A group. Yeah. A group, a group yeah, of friends. Like that. Uh, top, I'll give three, top three. So my first choice would probably be a cruise. So it's not no country in particular, just okay. a three, like four that. island cruise. Cause I, I think like that. that, that would be enjoyable with friends. And then I've done it as I've done it before. So it was fun with just mm -hmm. the guys. So I would imagine what it'd be like with just the girls, which need to do that guys trip again. But anyway, um, cruise, Jamaica, um, Miami. Just trying to think of the most fun places I've been. Okay. Okay. Party cities or whatever you want to call it. There's always mm -hmm. stuff to mm -hmm. do. Okay. And it's always sense. warm. Mm. Mm. I hear you there. I hear you. All right. All right. That's we got true. some stuff on the docket. Uh -huh. There's some, some fresh, fresh stuff to talk about that we had to talk about. We had mm -hmm. to make sure we had to talk about. First mm -hmm. off, the king of Instagram. Mm -hmm. Uncle Shay Shay, mm -hmm. Shannon Sharp, mm -hmm. going live, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put these where, where, where is here the quotations here. See quotations by accident. Okay, quotations by accident. Mm -hmm. As he was hitting the skins with a woman, we don't know. Well, do we even know the woman yet? I think there is. I names. thought there was. I think I they dropped some pictures and names. I think, yeah. but I haven't been. Really, I didn't really pay attention. That, that that that's neither neither you mind. Mm -hmm. But again, the first question is: mm -hmm. Do you think he did it on purpose, or was it really by accident? Uh, 
you know, entertainment is a bunch of uh, Wizard of Ozzery, smoke screen, <laughs> smoke and mirrors, and slap mm-hmm. tricks and all this. Um, and I, you know, when it first happened, I was like, oh, damn. How do you do that? How did you do that by accident? You did that by, oh, my gosh, it sucks. Embarrassing, blah, 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 right? Mm-hmm. And when mm-hmm. people started to delve in and describe what it's how long it takes or how many things you have to do to go live it's almost impossible to do by accident and then it's like oh yeah they he did have that gay rumor thing going uh, yeah okay you know so far and so far you got to look at somebody's some of these celebrities track record too right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so far Shannon's biggest moments are scandal. That's how he's leveled up to a next step almost every single time. Are you talking show wise? Are you talking personal wise or just in general? I'm talking his whole post athlete career, like as a as a okay. TV personality now, I guess you call it. Okay, okay, yeah. He yeah. Even if you even if you just count him arguing with Skip. That's still scandalous okay. stuff. It's part of their show. Oh, sure, for sure. Mm-hmm. But it's still scandalous mm-hmm. stuff. So that, then he leveled up heavier when Sh- Skip got rid of him. And then he set up first take. Scandal. Then he leveled up again. Sorry, sorry. Let me backtrack. I'm missing a part. When he nearly mm. fought the, the whole Memphis Grizzlies teams when he was on the sidelines of the Lakers game. Oh, I remember that one. Then he got a lot yeah. of attention scandal yeah then i would say skip firing him scandal Mm. goes on Mm. first take as a result becomes even bigger starts his own show the nightcap the night well nightcap you would have with outro oh oh, you're you're talking about the nightcap i'm going straight to club shay shay club shay shay yep and it explodes off of cat williams Williams. everybody and scandal and a couple of more he had a few more comedians after a few other ones you know capitalizing off of the scandal monique was on there too i think Monique was on there. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, uh, he's just living off of everybody. Scandals. Oh, sorry, a lot of people were on there. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people have been on there. So true, true. That whole track record makes me think, nah, bro, that was on purpose. Whether real or not, that's the that's the deeper question. Was it real? And he went on live, or they just orchestrated the whole thing. Both, I think, are very possible things. Yeah, I'm gonna say. I, I I heard of the the homosexual rumors again. Mm-hmm. I have to say, you're a millionaire. Whatever you do in your house is whatever you do in your house. I don't really care. You shouldn't worry about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we do. The public shouldn't care. Yeah. So you Are you entertaining? Care. Yeah, you're making your money hand over fist. What do you care if people? What, what if you are or you're not? Whatever. But anyway, I digress. So mm-hmm. I do believe that was a part of the facade. But really and truly, I had a second, uh, I guess, um, theory is that mm-hmm. the woman that he was with probably did it. That the woman probably had a hold of the phone at some point. Again, he's hitting the skins. Or they were fooling around before and she could have just been playing because he says he threw it on the bed. Right? Or threw it wherever. And any woman or any person who's with a celebrity wants to get noticed can do those things so again that was my theory and the whole thing i don't it's know a if good the woman call was, there sir yeah, well, well think about it that's I mean, the only thing that ad- ad- admonishes his guilt that's it he was the say, only oh, capable possible woman. story yeah the woman the woman did it should have said the woman if the woman did do it mm-hmm. she now makes a name for herself and also makes a name for him being whatever he is. Now, again, what he did was normal. Nothing's wrong with what he did. Nothing was shown. Yeah, exactly. So I get why I get why they, there was no real punishment. No, there it should looked, be a punishment for that. It, it looked believable that it was by mistake. Yeah. Fine. And again, he wasn't showing body parts or whatnot. He wasn't cursing out people, you know, because we had we've gone through scandals where um What's his face? Donald Silver, man, former yeah, owner yeah, of yeah, the, yeah, LA. Yeah, 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 that yeah. voice, that voice went 
that that blew up the yeah. whole NBA. Yeah, the whole right. NBA went out. That's right. Yeah. Um, we had we had an incident where Hulk Hogan was caught on video yeah. on the rock was video or tape, 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 tape. Was it yeah, tape again? Tape. tape. Well, yeah, again. Yeah. So those things can can destroy you by mm -hmm. saying the wrong thing. So because nothing was said in the audio that was wrong, I give it a pass. It's just it's just a healthy man doing healthy man things with a healthy woman. And uh, and and he's not. Uh, I mean, at least he wasn't running from it. So well, he, like, he, he first he first said that he was hacked, and that's well, the embarrassing. Well, what he said actually he actually explained that he said he his people like his PR guy also mm -hmm. who it's shut off me. the live also posted that it was a hack. Please tell me how you can shut off the live remotely from another account. Excuse me, I Unless think it's possible. On I, I think that's possible. I do think that's possible. Okay. Especially oh, if the, if didn't. you have access to the account, I think it's possible. I I don't know, but no, I haven't so I haven't heard anybody debunk that. So how the so how do you go live? So couldn't you go live remotely then, by someone else? If you can turn it off by someone else, can't you turn it on by someone else? Well, the live is easy because it's live is. Um, for example, I know this because like we have the Gold Era page, for example, right? Mm -hmm. So if I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I I have access to the Gold Era Instagram account page. Right. To do right. what I, if I go live on the gold right. era page, I'm I'm home. That doesn't affect Finn having right, 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 right. No, I get you. He just couldn't you. go live at the same time on the same as me. Right, right. We could go right. live together, but we'd have to be on different accounts. I don't know about the stoppage thing though. That part I don't know if Finn can then lock off my life because he has. That's access. what I'm saying. Which I I can see it being possible though. I can see it being possible, but I don't know. I, I think it can be speak. possible, but I'm thinking that someone can turn it on too. If someone has the access to turn it on, with, yeah, but if with, they turn it on, that's where they are. They can't turn it on where you I, are. Well, again, people have access to people's phones in many, many ways. You can oh, hear that's a different. Phone. Well, okay, we're on a different level. That I don't yeah. disagree with what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, saying yeah, it can be possible. That's all. Yeah. So he could have been set up too. You never know. Oh, never yeah. know. But anyways, a, yeah, he got caught in the act. Mm -hmm. He came forward. Mm -hmm. And as a man, and I respect him a lot for this. As a man, he said, yes. "Hey, yeah. it happened. I'm not hiding from it. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm a healthy man doing healthy man things." Shout out to you, Shannon, because not many fifty plus year old man is hitting the skins like that. <laughs> I didn't even All really right. take in the whole video pause if necessary. Wow! Uh, I'm gonna stop doing the pause thing. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Takes a while to wean yourself off. I know, um, I know. What was I gonna say? Ah, geez. Anyway, um, I don't remember what I was gonna say. I totally forgot. <laughs> well, again, he's doing he's doing his grown man things, but in 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 grown man situations. Oh, so. yes, I was saying I never actually listened to it. I I, mm -hmm. I only heard about it, but I didn't because mm -hmm. I was just like, I don't want to hear Shannon Sharp like audio <laughs> porn. I don't care. Right. Right away, people were sending it to me. I'm like, it was it was the hottest thing on the internet because everybody caught it, and oh, people yeah, were yeah. going nuts about it. Yeah, that's a big deal. Because again, because of the rumors about him being a certain way, whereas whatever. And he's but a star. Thing, he's a he's thing, a celebrity. Yeah. He's of a big, course that's big that's celebrity. that's TMZ stuff right there. You know, what people are gonna get that and blow it up. At the and same time, Thursday. at the same time. I was trying to hear him on, on his game in the battery. I was like, hey, what is this guy saying? Yo? Yeah. That's why, yeah, I didn't care about all that. Man. I was like dying. I'm like, I want to hear the juicy yeah. stuff, bro. But it was just okay. basic. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> yeah, then you're doing, you're, you're good. You're good. You're good. I mean, yeah, you're again, things, right? yeah, I mean, and, but, but his, but his, uh, but his boy Ocho, Chad Johnson, he was ripping him. Yeah. Ripping him because, oh, yeah, he was ripping him, yo. Because, first of all, he said, we, we're we're glad it's it's a Michelle and not a Michael because he knows oh, I did out there too. That. I did see that part, and I'm That's and I'm like, what? And they and he's saying, yo, he, he, were you using the blue pill? And he and then uh, awesome. he pulls <laughs> out the, the rubber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on the back. I'm like, yo, I can put it. I'm like, hey, these guys again. That could have helped. That probably could have helped. No, it did help the ratings of their show, that That's nightcap something. show. That's what I'm so, saying. They're all about scan. Like they're not a formal podcast. They just talk what like us. They're like us. Yeah. We sit back, we see a scandal, we see something we want to talk about. 
we throw it out there and we talk about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, they might have more material than us and they have more of an audience of flowing and uh, an yeah, influence, yeah. but again, yeah. we're, they're just like us talking to this shit. Probably That's more it. entertaining. So again, well, I mean, they have nothing else to do. That's relative. Their That's, That's, their relative. Job. That's their job. Yes. That's their job. They've been doing it for a long time. Exactly. So uh, again, I thought it was well done in terms of how, how to handle it. Uh, and it was done. Like there's nothing else. They they were everybody's wondering is he going to get fired, and people were saying yeah he should get fired. I'm like why? Fired for what? There's why? no is why there a morality clause there's, there's, there's in the no contract? Malice in what he did? Yeah, exactly. He's doing grown no moral man things. Yeah. He wasn't doing it. He said he did it on purpose. He said he didn't do it on purpose, and he right. also said that he apologized for it happening. He was embarrassed. Right. Yes, it's embarrassing for sure. One hundred percent is embarrassing getting caught in something like that. Yes, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nothing's wrong with it. Mm -mm. Right, there's a lot of people that have been doing worse. I don't know. I don't know if you know about um, like well, you don't know. I, you do know. I do stream myself, mm -hmm. uh, and there was a streamer that was caught uh, texting or or uh, inappropriate texts to a minor, uh, and then he was suspended and and uh, well suspended and banned off of the Twitch platform. His name is Doctor Disrespect. Permanent. So now, well, yes, permanent. He was. He was. He was paid out and whatever, and he was now has to stream on YouTube. But like things like that, mm -hmm. where you see something that's inappropriate. Again, this is text. Even text mm -hmm. can destroy your career. Because a lot of people hated on him, right? Mm -hmm. And he was saying, "Oh, I never did, never do it." And then he told people that, "Yeah, it was a minor, but that was it. You lo you lose your followers. Like not all of them, but you lose a bunch because of the morale about it. You're talking to someone who's X amount of age or." Are you talking bad about this person or that person? Mm -hmm. Media or the social media is a, it's a career killer that could be. Yep. Right. It can break you or break you because make you or break you. And in, in, in other situations like that, Hawk Two Girl, he did a, a stand up thing, answered a freaking comment, and she's now a superstar, 15 mm -hmm. minutes of fame. Mm -hmm. And other people, you know, they say the wrong thing, poof, career's over, disappear. Never to be on on on, but that, on, that, on social media again. That's the thing about social media. There are people who are masters of the scandals. It's like they're masters of creating their own. So you don't yeah. even pay attention to the real ones that are, that are going on with them or with other people. So, I mean, I could totally see, like I'm saying, the track record is speaking like this is the way Shannon, Shannon's career has been the trajectory yeah. of his career has been going this way that something happens, big scandal, he jumps a level up more. For yeah. Whatever yeah. situation that so far that's happened to him. So I think that's his formula right now. And I, I you know what's funny? It's uh, another podcaster. I was um watching his show and he was interviewing like his old co-host, like they're no longer on the show, but they came back for a reunion show. Yeah, yeah. And they were all like Yo, this guy, it's the Math Office show, in my expert opinion. And they're like, yeah, this guy's the one who told, anytime the, the fans or there's a rumor that goes around on social media about any, was about them while they were working with him, he would right. tell them, nah, bro, don't tell people the truth yet. Just let the lie linger. You can even feed into the lie depending on the situation because it's more, the lie is more entertaining than the truth. And a lot of these entertainers are taught and practice successfully, might add, in doing this. I just don't, I always wonder, like, all that negative, mm -hmm. oh, I don't even know what to call it, or uh, uh, presence in your life. Like, mm -hmm. sure, you turn it into a positive, I guess, by getting money off of it or whatever, but isn't that a lot to deal with as a star, like as a celebrity? That's a lot to have to lie to people, probably even your own family, so the truth doesn't get out right away. It's crazy. It, it's it's the system. It's it's the it's the it's the technique mm. and be to be relevant. It's the technique to be talked about. It's it's even a technique to make money. So well, then, yeah, that's exactly what yeah. what everybody's yeah, hoping so. to do. But that's what, yeah. but it's just crazy. Like, I mean, Again, I've also it's, it's been, a doggy dog world. I, it's a doggy yeah. dog world, man. It's vicious. No moral it's compass when come it comes to, to that stuff. Yeah, it's what we've come to. That's what we've come yeah. to. Come to that's why I'm like, I can't, I can't do social media. I can't do social media the way it is anymore. It used to be fun. 
Mm. It used to be fun. Mm. It used to be entertaining. Yeah. I mean, now I was, you don't, I was talking no, to a friend. No lines. I was talking to a friend, and they were showing they were showing me memes. I'm like, oh, you know what? Memes are fun until it says the wrong thing. Mm. And it's then it's not fun. Mm -hmm. It pisses people off. And then you start the whole you're hate you're hated because you like this show, this meme, or whatever, or you have this view on that, and then it's just go sell. And yeah, and sometimes you can't some people, depending on who you are, can't recover from that. There's some people in the industry because they were caught on social media saying mm -hmm. something. Uh, for instance, we'll talk about that guy, uh Kramer. That guy mm -hmm. went off on a rant. I don't think he's ever worked again since. You know, it's funny. Just today, I just read it again. This is internet thing. I don't know if it's true because it's on the net, so I can't say it's true. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. that they NBC reportedly offered him and Jerry Seinfeld like 500 million for a new sitcom. And it Jerry. literally said what you said about that guy. I forget his name, but it said like, and, um, and like they would say, uh, Industry blackballed, whatever, yeah, and yeah, then his yeah, name, yeah. they offered both of them, yeah. but blacklisted 500 million yeah. to start a new yeah. show. I think yeah, he, he probably even he probably started himself. He probably said, Yo, Jerry, I need some money. I need, I need help. I can't you work. You never know. You never know. You never know. I, another smoking. I, I, I like, I was gonna say, I watched this show, uh, called Those, Those, Those About to Die. Is that what it's called? I'm Prime. I think it's wow, those are both guys. Yeah, it's about the old, yeah. like how the the Colosseum was built and created, or, or how it came to prominence in the Roman society in, in Italy. Okay, yes. Okay. I gotta so, watch that. Then. But it's 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 not real. It's it's very Game of Thrones ish. Okay. Okay. But um, I like it. But anyway, I say that to say, watching that, like the, there's actually. They say that's where the idea of this entertainment business originally came from, is that they show like a directors and how the producers of the Coliseum mm -hmm. would create the show, and they had different themes and they would do this to distract. But it, it was behind it. Some horrible shit going the, on. It, not even not not only that, the politicians of the city are discussing. Well, we need this. We need the Coliseum to, to do this because if the people mm -hmm. notice that we're doing this, makes sense. Then, yeah, you know I'm saying it's just a, perfect, it was a perfect example. Perfect example is Gladiator. Gladiator. It, that's like exactly Gladiator. the next step up for, up from this, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Is that idea Gladiator. like? And that's what they say about sports. Period. Because this is definitely the idea where sports entertainment came into yeah. a play is give mm -hmm. the people something to watch. And they While will forget we... about their troubles. Yeah. yeah. Give them something to be entertained by. That's what TV is. That's what the internet is now. But, but at the same time, in that same format, there's a big, a great line that says, if you win the mob, like you win the people if after you win the mob. So you, you, you get people, you get eyes on you and you perform well, the eyes are on you. You're the guy. And that's that's super, that's superstars like LeBron James. If you excel mm -hmm. in the limelight, people mm -hmm. are going to be talking about you. Michael Jordan. If you excel in that limelight, they will think about you and only you and say you are on the pedestal. Kobe Bryant, uh, 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 Emmett Smith, all these superstars in there in these shows that they are performing in. That's what you get. Those are the gladiators. Those are the ones that you always talk about, right? The way yeah, they command the most Lemieux. attention. Right. So that helps, and that's where. The, the 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 politicians will use them in ads use them in 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 like for instance i think there was a big thing about um the presidential election and the race how um taylor swift mm -hmm. is 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 giving their her endorsement to kamala harris uh, yeah. and then people 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 are going crazy if mm -hmm. you're not a, if you're not a swifty blah 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 but i'm like that's a smart move if you want to win the day you get the most popular star in the world to to vouch for you, so they do always. Uh, Democrats always do that. The, the yes, I know. Celebrities tend to go on the de Democratic side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and again, that's that's how they shift. They try. It doesn't yeah. say it always works, but they try to shift the, the shift of power in that way based on that. So yeah, it's the Wizard of Oz thing again. It just there's a mm -hmm. big old puppet behind all of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And again, when you talk this way, it's conspiracy theories, but it's been proven kind of over and over. We continue just to be like, okay, that's it. Yeah, whatever. That's not Mm -hmm. true. We're getting bored of it now. There's bigger things going on while we're occupied with the what is considered small things. But to us, it's not small because it's our daily life, right? But to know what those guys are, the things that are affecting our small things or our big things are bigger Mm. than we get to Mm. see. Most Mm. of us, anyway, get to see. We're not not getting the whole picture. And I, I think, you know, ignorance is bliss to a degree. Getting the whole picture oh, yeah. is is oh, dangerous yeah. to our mental health. If you see it all, so, yeah, you might you might you might see things differently. That's why geniuses you, you are crazy? Supposed. Most geniuses are insane. And like and like genius. Albert Einstein and them, no, guys don't are watch. mad. They, they don't they don't survive because they're just. I think they're always thinking, mm-hmm. and they can't stop thinking. And because they can't stop thinking, people think they're crazy. Like, you just chill out. No, I got got to figure this out. Uh, there's no the chill. Next step, the next thing, yeah. There's, there's no, no chill. chill. No chill. Or their so. chill is that. That's their comfortable yeah. form, but it's stressful. Yeah. yeah. And once Very you, true. Like, yeah, yeah. That's celebrity, man. But we got another celebrity. Speaking of celebrities, this uh, podcast is not brought to you by Johnsons and Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> this guy said the the new sponsor. <laughs> The new, the new <laughs> spokesperson and image oh, man. of Johnson and Johnson. The reason the stock has risen overnight, oh, <laughs> Mister Harlem oh. Shake, which sounds wild now. Charlotte, get out of here, <laughs> Mister. Take that, take that. Wilder <laughs> behavior on your mind. Like Bob, they have too much clip. They have too much clips. Yo. This is the, the 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 wild part to the or the funny part. There are so many clips of this guy saying some stuff that at the time was like, okay, whatever, bro. Yeah. But now yeah. it's like, bro, what? And you go back. You go back track, and you're like, brother, what? Take that. Take that. What? Take what? Man, call himself oh. brother love and all these things. <laughs> Listen. Puff Here, Daddy should have been the first sign. That's so specking itself. Puff. <laughs> My, why Daddy have a puff? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. Like, this, 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 this case, this situation is going to break the hip hop industry. Nah. Man and them are going to get exposed. Yeah, yeah. So, it's not going to break nothing, though. Bro, again, bro, again. bro, let me say this. We, 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 I'm, I'm now calling P. Diddy the Don right now, the way he was running things. This guy's the Don. This is what this I'm saying. To you, uh, this guy's the madness, yo. This he was guy, doing madness things. You are you crazy. What do they call it? The freak offs were wild, man. But there you are. In the hotels. The freak offs. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. Eddie, I'm, going, I'm going to shoppers. We're, we're, we're out of what? Baby oil? Yeah, the last guy he took, he go through the last one, and you see his cart with like. 50 oh, Diddy's did, did in town. <laughs> this how we know Diddy's in town. Diddy's in town. But here's my thing. My thing is this. All I'm saying again is, he's not the top of the food chain in this scenario. He. Oh, I think we lost him. I'm here. I'm here. Wow, I was weird. They didn't but, want you to talk about it, yeah. <laughs> they just that's it. Good night. <laughs> Stop talking about PDD, please. Stop talking yeah, about yeah. So you were saying, <clears throat> Yeah, PDD. I'm saying he's not the top of the food chain, brother. Like oh, he's God. he's a like I seen who did I see talking about it? Um oh I saw somebody talking about it. Anyway, I can't remember. Somebody was saying like they would call him he's he's like the middleman or he's the He's the one that he's a go getter. He's like the gopher for the sex traffic game. Like the guy who, the bigger man, who are scared to talk to these black gangsters or the more uh, prominent, uh, the more street like artists and talent around. Mm-hmm. He sent mm-hmm. Puff in there to loosen him up. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was super well. I can't even say nothing about this guy. They send, they no, send, 
Diddy and to do it. <laughs> Sweeten them up. So you can't. You can't avoid it now. We can you can't. <laughs> uh, listen, we just disclaimer. This entire show is full of pause. <laughs> From the top. That's it. Pause again right there. Anyway, we're stopping the pause game. We ain't even care about that. Listen, man, we're grown. We're grown. We're grown. But yeah. He, he's, he's, he's the ultimate middleman, you're saying. 50 said something, which is 50 said something about ever since Puff broke his relationship with the people in Ciroc, he's been getting exposed a different kind of way. He's not, he hasn't been getting away with things like he used to. It's oh, been so downhill of, since that deal fell through. So they were part of the system that kept him under wraps. It's a Wizard of Oz thing, right? They took the they took the sheet or they took the curtain away from him. And they saw the they saw the Mr. Oz himself. They had him in the shroud where you don't really see what's going on. They had him. They're the ones that are there, like, nah, you can't arrest him yet. Oh, you can't arrest him. He's one of us. But the minute He's no longer one of them. You're an outcast. You're fighting for yourself. Now here's the here's the question. We put on the federal jewelry. Clink mm. clink. Here's you the like question. Handcuffs, buddy. You like, when you go. When do you think the smoke and mirrors started for his career? Because this man came from really nothing. A dancer. Oh no, yeah. It's... Okay, it depends on what, on what what you believe in and what you don't like. If you believe in the conspiracy way of thinking, quote unquote conspiracy, which I don't believe that that's what it should be called, but we all understand the terminology. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. That could have been as soon as they, you know what? Forget all that. It started whenever he was willing to bow, figuratively and physically. <laughs> <laughs> when he was ready to give them what they want, that's when it started. So that could be as early as the Biggie days, or or we could say they're not given. That could be it. It definitely started to happen when they saw his trajectory trajectory mm. going to skyrocket after Bad Boy blew up and was taken over for those few years. You think they gave him the reins right after that? I think they come over to yeah, they tap you on the shoulder, yeah. So yo, you, got you control millions of people with your music. We'll let you do anything you want, and you'll get paid for it if you yep. just fall set, in line. Yes, it's fall in line and fall set me line. up with, set me up with, set me up with. Yeah, check this yep. guy out. See if he's check this girl out. Mm -hmm. Send her, and then then. <laughs> Even like the, the other thing that I think happens too is these guys go into these things obviously naive because they have they don't see these levels of power and corruption, mm -hmm. and they they they're cool with it, but then they get addicted to it because it's, it was done to them. They they have to you know hurt people, hurt people. They inflict that same thing on somebody else. Sad, true. but the and truth. they that doesn't excuse their behavior and no true. means. It's just the reasoning that this these cycles continue. And this is why I like guys who call these guys out. If, if, whether it's in a comedic sketch or it's just they're in an interview and they're like, yo, nah, I don't do that. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't do mm -hmm. that. I don't do what those guys do. <laughs> or I, I see what those guys do and that's not me. I, I like I just, that stuff. I just saw a quick, uh, I guess because Shaq has a podcast now. Mm -hmm. And he had uh, Marlon Wayans on there, mm -hmm. and like you said, you know, you like it when they 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 the truth comes out, whether as a lash out or as a joke. Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, Shaq says uh, he he loves how he you know jokes, and and Marlon says, yeah, everything on Living Color was off the cuff. Mm -hmm. There was no redo. You always had to have something in the back pocket because it's, you don't want to hear the same joke twice. Mm -hmm. There was one time he had. A joke about magic. He said, Shaq goes, tell me about the joke with magic. No, no, no. I like the guy. Like, yo, tell me. He goes, yo, I wish I had magic aids. Because <laughs> he, he, he doesn't know how a man can have AIDS for 50 years. How the man. He never had it. That's. Well, let me stop it. Let me stop but, it. No, but just saying, like, this, this is, again, 
there's truth to what he's saying, even though it's comedic, mm -hmm. there's something in there in the background saying, yo, what are you trying to be? What are you trying to say? That's the best comedy, right? It, exactly. It's the one that you that makes you think. Mm -hmm. It's funny, but then you're sitting, then you're sitting back after you hit the punch. I'm like, yeah, how is he? How is he alive uh, after 50 years? And Mazem can't survive after three months. But again, medicines come a long way. But it either exactly, Magic was either getting that medicine way before everybody else was, mm. which mm. I believe that's also very possible. Yeah. I sure. keep saying it, like, and I'll not to go on a tangent, but I keep saying, I always said, in hindsight, I think they said Magic had AIDS because he was the greatest, or the, not the greatest, one of the best, um, what's the word I'm looking for? One of the best stars to use to advertise it, the danger of AIDS. Like anybody can get it. If magic could get it, anybody could get it. Because so remember, saying, before magic, you saying, saying he had it or he didn't have it? Either way. <laughs> Does man's like, man's like, will the still? That man was smashing on a regular. He never, no one touched him with the AIDS, bro. Either way. Well, here's a th different times, different times. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. let's say he didn't have it. Mm -hmm. What I am saying is he sold out. So, let me not even say sold out. He got paid off to say he had it because at that time AIDS was a gay man, gay disease. Straight people weren't oh, get, okay. supposedly I, I, getting it. Okay, when that I was that was more. a falsehood. Right. So they paid him off to show the people that look, anybody can get it. Be careful out there. And that works he, whether he had it or not. So he's getting paid no matter what. He's the spokesman. That made them turn and look. Say, hey, if this guy again, can get it, <laughs> and I don't, I don't like doing this because it starts to make it. It's making it sound like I'm hating on rich black folks. I think it happens on, on all scales of all mm -hmm. races, all especially in North America. Right after that happened, magic is bigger than he ever was a basketball player. He's a bigger. In Agreed. every sense of the word, make way more like a bigger businessman, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. entity, yeah, global. Yeah. Like ever yeah. since that, that made him bigger. I remember that All Star game when he played, when the league brought him back in to play, and then he won the MVP for that last one that he played in. I was like, so, man, whether it's conspiracy or not, it, it no conspiracy. Simply that we as humans love to see uh, somebody fall. And fight and the way rising. back. Yeah. We love, yeah. Which is, and, and, and we love to put them in that spot where too. they fell. We love to that's, push them down. That's so why that everybody loves Rocky. Get up. Everybody loves Rocky. They love that. that, that All the, the greatest entertaining stories are like that. All the greatest movies, greatest TV shows, greatest songs yeah. even. We, we, we were just talking about Gladiator. Gladiator. He was the, the commander of whatever. And all of a sudden the people put him it. down. So now he has to make his way back up. But that's whether the, life or death, that's 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 the draw. That's the draw right there. To bring it even so close, watch him bring it up. As I was saying, to bring it even like that's the essence of what entertainment is. Mm -hmm. That coliseum, a man is fighting for his death. If he wins, whoa, like week, and it's like that's amazing. But if he dies, that's even better. Because it makes the next match even more dangerous and more dangerous mm. and more dangerous. No, you're right. The more that they die, the more entertaining the thing becomes. I forget. The, the, I believe there's a Shakespearean saying. I wish I had the brains to remember, to remember these things. But one man's tragedy is the next man's entertainment. 100%. Yeah. That's why Shakespeare wrote tragedies most of the time. Yeah, because everybody because they knew it would sell. They knew it would be getting, getting the attention. You get the eyes on the people. You're one hundred percent right. Attack your emotions. So to bring it back a little bit to the back mm. to the puffy thing, mm. even on that side of things, I I I believe he's guilty of a lot of the things that they have him on. But I again, I don't think he is the the worst oh. of them all. I believe there is a scapegoat thing going on there. He lost his power somehow. He lost his, for lack of a better word, he lost his protection for what he was doing. They took okay. that off, and that's now that's what's happening. He's he's going down, but I don't think he's the puppet master 
by any means. I don't think we're taking well, I do believe we're taking a, a major trafficker or I don't know, I shouldn't even say that. He's not actually he, I don't know if he's a major one either. I don't think he's a major one. The thing is, well, the thing is does he need to go to jail if he's guilty? Yes, that's what I should say. What is he gonna be guilty of? That's the question. Well, if it's any of those charges that they gave him, excuse me, jail time. Okay. So Sex let's, trafficking, let's... racketeering. Racketeering is not so big a deal for me. So, yeah, you'd be going to blue collar jail anyway. But uh, this. So who, who, so, who do you think, and I'm, I'm kind of comparing now, who do you think had the bigger or more scandalous case? Would it be R. Kelly or. Did he? So far, R. Kelly, um, and just because Diddy hasn't had his trial laid out yet, mm -hmm. but so but based on the facts, yeah, I don't know them all either, so that's okay. hard for me to answer. But at this <laughs> juncture, it's R. Kelly still because he, the underage business. Mm. But again, we don't. He's we, got the underage, yet. right? I was gonna so, say, yeah, we don't know that, that yet. Yeah, but R. Kelly's pretty much that's his mo. Yeah, the underage. That's his thing. Other than that, he didn't do anything else but the underage things. Yes, he, much. Kept them, he kidnapped them and, and enslaved them, but it's, it's the underage thing. All the underage really thing, yeah. Makes sense. Makes the sense. The whole thing is wrong, but that underage thing yeah. is his case. Yeah, true. yeah, yeah. Because he did have a few girls that were all of age, and he just still treated them like crap. Yeah, so, like his wife. Yeah. 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 So, but now I'm thinking, with with Diddy now, I mean, there's got to be more players. And again, the minute, the, oh, the, yeah. the, the, faster, the faster he goes down, the more... People are gonna start talking. And when I'm when I talk, when I say I'm talk, talking, I'm like, I mean the people in Bad Boy, man, like man, like man, like the the locks, they'll start talking. If they saw it, man, like uh 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 uh, well, I guess people have already started talking. You like his from Danity Kane to the stars came out, and they say they didn't. But those are, those are the women. I'm talking to man them. Yeah, I'm there's to a couple of men. Shine, Shine made mm -hmm. comments already. About what he did to him, um, Freddie from making the band also made comments saying that he that was the guy I think that said it. Like he's he's the go between. He's not the he's not the oh, puppet okay. master. The go between. They use him to get to the the more let's just say urban. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah no, no, okay. To rein them in a certain kind of way. So it reminds me of uh, the Wire. Also, because. We had remember oh and now we're not talking about per se the women thing. I'm talking about how there was a certain people that were running the urban drugs, right? At least he had this person mm -hmm. running the urban side of the drugs. But then mm -hmm. remember the docs, remember mm -hmm. the docs when mm -hmm. you had the, the the white collar guys yeah. doing their thing, but they were doing just as dirty. But they had their inside man feeding to their type of client. Like they had just as just as bad of a man. Running that side as they did the urban side. It's just we only know the urban side. We only mm. see the urban. We don't see the white yes, color yes, side. Yes, that's yes, yes. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah. true. I agree. We're not seeing 100%. that because it's yeah. it's not it's not uh, and not in shiny suits and 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 with girls and all yeah. that. Meanwhile, it, the white right, the white color right, guys is like right. they're just running it. You know, think of it like organized crime, like uh, Sopranos, mm -hmm. right? Although Sopranos put it over the top, but you know what I'm saying, like. Those guys didn't speak it or or show it. They just did it. And unless somebody slipped up is when you knew. Mm -hmm. So now, now Diddy slipped up. So someone's going to know. Someone's mm -hmm. going to find out. Someone's going to figure out until unless they silence him or put somebody else in, 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 in his place to, to keep it going. Because, again, the, 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 the system doesn't end off of, off of Diddy. That's yeah, a that's big a industry. That's, that's a, a big industry. So mm -hmm. just because you caught one fish. It's not even the biggest fish. There are going to be people around there still doing mm. that dirt. And it's scary. Because you got a big fish in our eyes. Diddy ran Bad Boy. He has Sean John and all this stuff. Mm. Dated all these celebrities and whatnot. And that's the thing, too. When he was dating celebrities, maybe these celebrities found out. And that's why, like, look at J-Lo. Um, J-Lo might be the I, worst I, example. I, I mean, she might have been in the mix. Or she probably saw the mix. That's why she dipped. And she used the the gun situation as a way to get, to get out. out. You never know. know. I, I, just... I, there's a lot of things that might come out of this trial that a lot and a lot of going back to Biggie's assassination. Like 
Yeah. There's a lot of conspiracy theories, a lot of speculation about what we're going to learn out of this trial. Uh, I don't know how much attention I'm going to pay to it. Um, yeah, I'm done with the, the celebrity. I I felt, the yeah, I don't really care about them too tough. It's good to talk about. Again, it's entertainment. But it, mm-hmm. I also see, see the distraction in it. I see that it, this again. Look here. Look what. Look what's going on over here. While I'm robbing you, type thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Yes, that and that's and the funny thing with this industry is that people like us, and I say the public eye, love to see the tragedy stories because mm-hmm. again, we'll go, we'll go because <clears throat> I think, I think, I think Fifty Cent has a documentary ready to go about Diddy. I oh, think he probably, sold it to Netflix. But I, I mean, surprised. for instance, for instance, the McMahon story. I don't know. I'm a big wrestling fan, so I know McMahon was caught in some dirt, dirt, and he had to yeah. leave his billion dollar company, gave it to his son in law, pretty much to run the show. And then all the people, the the the, the mid carters or whatever, they're running it now, and he's out of the picture. Mm-hmm. But right now, as of I think of the 25th, they have a new documentary about him on Netflix coming out. Call it Mr. McMahon. They want to. They would. They're going to show the rise and fall of this man. People, they they love that stuff. Yep. They want to see how dirty this man was. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They, people love all these documentaries of the fall of this, the fall of that. They want to see the demise. Exactly. They want to see people fail. I'm like, man, they want to see this... you get to the top, and then they want to see you fall off. Yeah. It, I mean, and if you these... happen to be able to get back to the top again. That's um, when you'll be revered by right. like for real. Like people don't really ever want to see you fall again. But, but, still most these, but most of these documentaries, they're like about people who are on the top. And they were, I watched the uh the Ronnie Coleman, the, the bodybuilder. Mm. I watched that documentary. That man can't walk. That's how bad he is. And people will watch it. I watched it. And I of saw course. a man who was great, went down the rock bottom, and he's still doing whatever he's doing. I watched, I was going to watch the one about the American gladiators, same thing. And oh yeah, I didn't watch so, that. I watched that already. That I didn't watch it, but the yeah. '80s, the highest ranking show out there. And then you see the people who what happened to it. Away I've been whatnot. watching so many of those. What happened to and what happened to and I just uh, watched um Into the Fire on Netflix, exactly. a documentary about a missing daughter, a missing woman. Sorry, yeah, a missing girl who was given up for adoption. I'll just say that you need to watch it. That's all I'm going to say. Into the Fire. Girl, what is that on Netflix? Netflix, yes. Okay. I'm gonna check it. You, you know, I watched it and it was eye opening. Let's just say that eye opening. I'll check it uh, out. And and Canada is not uh, not uh, immune to that. I watched the uh, what did Jennifer do, or what did Jennifer I heard do? about that? That's Canadian. That was, I don't know. Yeah, that's she was that was in Kingston, Kingston, okay. Ontario. Mm. And yeah, again, you just see a smart kid or somebody is up. Go straight down. I'm like, man, mm. that's crazy. That's scary. That's but, entertainment. But that's entertainment. Exactly. That's entertainment. Sad, but true. We want to see people fail. And we we put we put that over anything. Mm-hmm. That's why we have these Love is Blinds and all these other shows and so forth. Because we want to see the breakups. We want to see the gossip. We want to see the tea. So sad. That's mm. what we're coming into right now. Yep. So, yep. Speaking of relationships, let me just we'll finish off with this. I mean, um, I, I remember I was talking to you about uh, my own yeah, from yeah. tribulations, yeah, and, and, I, and again, I'm 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 still I'm almost done with just <laughs> trying, I'm done with trying, yeah, I'm here, I've been there, I've been there. Sometimes you just wonder, you just throw your pants up, like, what the heck is there's there's people that you talk to and as as i grow older i understand what i want in a partner so yeah. i i go that route um but then there's people on these dating sites and whatnot where i meet who think who think they know so you show them everything you want to show them and, and that that you're you're that person and you would spend a certain period of time with them, and also they said, "No, no, I'm, I'm good. I think we're good." So why you waste a person's time? Mm-hmm. Why put yourself out there if you're not ready? What's what's the what's the premise of you? Like even if I even if I told you you weren't ready, and you still want to connect, 
why are you doing that? Why are you wasting people's time? That, like, that's why I say a lot of women don't know what the hell they want. And and the guys are getting, they, they're getting the short end of the stick because they, they think, because they've been that way for a while, in terms yeah. of not knowing. But a lot of men know what they want now. And they're standing up saying, yeah, we don't want this type of woman anymore. We don't want this type of person. And they're standing up and saying, yo, we, I, I'm going to go to the next one. Now, people, now, back in the day, they think you're just hopping from one girl to another. No, I know what I want. I know what I bring to the table. Mm -hmm. Meet me there. If you can't meet me there, then I'll go find somebody else. But don't waste my time. Don't waste four months of my time trying to court you. And then all of a sudden, that fourth month, you're like, eh, I don't think that we're good. For, we're, we're, don't waste my time. I, I'm just tired. I'm tired. Yeah, I've tired. been there, guy. I, all I can tell you is you got to change. You know, you got to change. You should. Not even you should. <laughs> I suggest you change the way your way of thinking. A, you got to go through uh, the, the, the bad, the dirt to get the diamond. So none of this is, it's none of this is a waste of time, quote unquote. Where I, th and I don't know, I don't know, because I'm not there. It's not a waste of time. It's a learning experience. Nothing, but that's how I view life. It took me a long time to get to that point where mm -hmm. it's nothing is a waste, even though it is. Like, even though you feel like at the time it's a waste, you're still, even when, for example, and I'm going on a tangent now as usual. Even when you, for example, you, somebody cancels on you last second and you, you know, this happened to me recently where I got canceled on for a studio session and I could look at that as like, oh, this girl wasted my time and I could have been doing whatever I wanted to do. It was really an opportunity because I've been talking about feeling um, in a rut making music. It was an mm -hmm. opportunity to try to create a music by myself in a different environment than I'm used to. And I had to transfer my mind to that in order to get off the fact that I wasted time and money to, to be here. Mm. So in dating, I say that to say in dating, you got to go through the crap to find the good thing. And unfortunately it is a spaghetti against the wall thing. You're either going to get lucky and find her early or like most people find them after a whole lot of fuck shit. Sorry. Mm. Pardon my French. Mm. That's one. So another thing is a waste of time. It's not a waste of time. Two, which is relates to one, is maybe not be so patient. Like I commend that you give these girls a good so much amount of chance, but bro, if she's not, if she says something off that doesn't line up with what you feel and you're 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 instead of saying oh maybe she didn't mean that or oh, she'll see i'll i'll trade her nah get out of there hit mm. the emergency button it's not for you there's nothing wrong with her there's nothing wrong with you there's just something wrong with you together and it doesn't mm. work and that is that's also why it's not a waste of time because that's okay you're not gonna find out if she is your type unless you go you take the steps to and even when you're together after you're together it's still a still. test of that very same thing right it's i get it you're more invested, of course. There's more reason to tolerate certain things. But you got to decide what you can tolerate. The 80-20 rule. Me and my boy were talking about this just the other day. Mm. He's like, his girl is his girl has this problem where she's whereas my girl has that problem for me or for him. Mm -hmm. Right. And if we we could switch those things and we'd both be happy. But then there's gonna be something else. And yes. it's like it's like there's always something. It's like, yeah, even if you find, even if you take those two, quote unquote, they're not even flaws, they're just things that we don't like. You take those two flaws and put them together. Or sorry, correct them in another girl. She's going to have something else that we don't like. And That's it's 80-20. It's what is the most important thing to you, those 80%. And what is the least important, that 20 that you're going to have to ignore, it might annoy you sometimes. And you might not ignore it every time, but you're going to have to, for the majority of time, ignore it. Okay. And then there's her 80-20, and does it match up? And if it doesn't match, I'm not saying 
because I was also guilty of this and I'm being long winded, but I was also guilty of the one wrong move. I'm out. I'm not saying be that person either, but don't be the, I can change them person. And don't mm. be the, Oh, this is like the fifth, sixth time you've done something that is just not for me. And I'm ignoring it because I, I don't want to be lonely or mm. I want to be, I want to feel like somebody wants me because mm. you just end up disappointed in the end anyway. Facts. No point. We're too, I, it's not, we're not even too old, but I like to believe we're too grown for this. True. That's the part. I'm not with the games no more, man. No more games. Makes sense. Makes sense. Thank goodness you don't have to play those games right now. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness. You're good. You're good. Um, but yeah, hey, those are nuggets. Those are nuggets. I got to take those nuggets and uh, implement them in my life. Myself. No chicken, Mick. Mm. Straight <laughs> Wendy's. Straight what? Wendy's. No, yeah, more Wendy. No RV. <laughs> no PDD. <laughs> no daddy, no fit puff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that it, I mean that guy's gonna be the butt of jokes for a good three, oh, yeah. four years. Yeah, yeah. He's he's up there. He, Bill Cosby be at the moment. And this yeah. is yeah. last thing, last thing. That's also what I hate about this stuff. As guilty as they are, as much as they should deserve to be punished, it's always the the black megastar that is on these that becomes the news cycle and the the focus of these types of things. I hate it when there's so many guys. Harvey Weinstein hardly got coverage. Like he's probably the one of the biggest that got the worst. And he, yeah, and he hardly gets talked about in the same way as. Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, and now Puff. F F As yeah. O.J. Simpson. Yeah. No, you're right. But anyway. You're right. Yeah. But anyways. Hey, that's yes, it. That's sir. all, folks. Hey, there's another good show. Good topics as usual. That's how we do it here. We always bring... Hey, and if you have topics for us, by all means, hit us up on our Instagram. Hit us up on our Facebooks. Hit us up on our youtube channel darkness with a ginger hue like comment subscribe we're there all day every day you know it we want the tea we want the tea all right <laughs> that being said for my co-host playing you know peace boy tokes peace we are out of here